Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, most of you have been asking, Hey Taku, how is it possible that you can get G2 with mostly only free to play units on your draft? So today I decided guys, that we are gonna do a counter on my account, okay? It's gonna be exciting! So let's go! I'll show you around. So here we are guys, what you see on the left is my monster pool for RPA. But wait, only 13? Yeah, I know guys, welcome to my life. <laughs> this is the life, okay? This is the life when you don't have any LD net 5 or any meta unit like Hathor, Genny. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys one by one, how I use this monster, where I use them, and how I run them, okay? Okay then, before we go into the in-depth analysis for its monster and the rune requirement, I would like to talk to you guys about my most used com, okay? So usually I always first pick the 3 most OP free-to-play unit in the game, which in this case is the Yeager, the Firth, and the Fran. Then I usually follow up with the Jan, Etna, or Tiana. Now I'm gonna show you guys why this com is my favorite. I'm gonna give, show you a clip, okay? I'm gonna show you the turn order and why this com is so OP. Check this out. Here is how the turn order should work. Tiana is going to boost up everyone, okay? And then Fran will follow up with attack bar and immunity for everyone, making sure that the second skill of Etna is gonna hurt, put defense break, and look at that guys. With the first passive, Etna actually get enough attack bar to move again. <laughs> and one shot a unit. That's why I like this home better than one shot. Cause you get immunity from the front guys, whereas one shot you don't get immunity. And from here it's only GG. With the immunity, the Hathor cannot do anything to your monster. You're fine. And that's what's gonna counter. <laughs> But wait, 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 Taku. But what if they ban the Tiana and the Etna? Well, in that case, guys, if they ban my Etna, I'll substitute my Etna with Yeager. And if they ban my Tiana, then they will have to let through my Josephine, right? So here's another clip for you. With Etna, you want her to move right after the immunity unit so that you can shut down one of the threat, okay? And strip his immunity and go ahead and provoke them or anything. You can just reset with Oki, you can flip with Hathor and CC unit, okay, guys? What matters is that she needs to go first, okay? Or else there's nothing to land. But of course guys, I cannot just bring this com into any com. If the opponent uses cliff com like Lucian or Lydia or any CC cliff like that, then that's why my other unit, my Nispe, comes into play, okay? Say my Vanessa right here, my Triana, Antares, Diana, and Praha, these are my cliff counters. So how about my Fela? My Fela is just there cause I only have two immunity unit, okay guys? So if they ban my front, if nothing else. I know it's sad. <laughs> and for my Triton, it's in case if they ban my Tiana and if I wanna go for an AoE attack booster, so I pick my Triton. So there we go guys. Uh, that explains all my monster pool. So now the time has come. Did you lip sync? Nope. For us to go into the rune detail, okay? Praha, as you guys know, is one of my cliff hunter. So I run her on this pair nemesis, very speedy. And not that tanky so that when Lucian is uh, amputation magic, she can cut in, okay guys, and possibly remove the attack buff from everyone, or heal. So that's how I use my Praha, only for Cliff. Not a fan of Praha to be honest. So yeah, you're my pride and joy guys. My pride and joy. You guys saw in my previous videos how Yeager can solo 3 units by himself, how Yeager can make me come back against someone like a buff. It just overloaded. Really, really overloaded. Now, usually people use Yeager to counter the Firth, right? So they make the Yeager very speedy, in fact, faster than most Firth in G1. But since I always pick Firth also, I don't need to worry about that, guys. So yeah, I run him on Violent Will, speedy and tanky, that's all that matters for me. Don't worry about the attack too much, but of course having the attack is always nice. So if possible, just shoot for around this stats. Should work like a charm. And we have Vanessa. Vanessa is just there to counter cliff, like I said. Against one shot also, like the Molong for Nakom. It's nice to bring Vanessa and Triana to protect yourself from the one shot, right? So what I do is that I make my Vanessa tanky, make her on crit damage because as time goes by, guys, believe it or not, Vanessa is gonna hurt. Especially if she lands a defense break, then follow up with the Phylon. Ew, it's, the damage is so disgusting. That's why I run her on Phylon Wheel. Uh, it's on speed, crit damage, HP. Doesn't even need that high attack, like I said. And yet, she hits like a truck. And we have Fela. Now, I run my Fela Zul on crit damage. Mm-hmm. Cause 
I want her to move last, guys. Like first, I want her to move last in the team. In case, uh, if the opponent stuns my team, then she can cleanse everyone. So he's on will violent crit damage. And you guys saw right in my previous video. See, <laughs> he hurts like a truck. That's why I like her on crit damage. But of course, some HP. You don't wanna get bombed by Fiat Ciara and poof goes your fella, right? And we have Antares. My Antares is only for Diana counter. Or any pony to be honest, like the Amelia counter. I have him on defense and despair, okay? Only only need 70% crit rate because of the passive. And that's a stat to shoot, shoot for guys. Tankiness. And quite a bit of attack. Don't really need to focus on speed, but since I don't have any rune without speed. <laughs> This is how my Antares comes out from the oven, okay? And next we have Diana! I don't really use Diana that often anymore except to counter Cliff. Why? Because of this thing, guys! Of the, of the guy right next to her! Ah, Antares just makes Diana very weak. But against Cliff, there's not going to be an Antares. In fact, we are going to be the one using Antares. So, that's like the only time I bring Diana. Or if I get to last pick. And if the opponent has no Antares, last pick Diana, I'll bring her, okay? Especially if the opponent has so many immunity units like Wusa. Again, Wus this Diana is one of the reasons why Wusa is shit now. And Triton, just a Tiana substitute. Next, we have Triana. Now, notice guys, my Triana is run on HP, HP, HP. Instead of speed, HP, HP. Why? Because I want to use my Triana to counter Daphnis. Ever since the buff, guys, Daphnis has become one of the most OP units in the game. Ugh. So, I run my Triana on Pylon Nemesis just to counter Daphnis. And also some units like Molong, they like to Reckless on the Triana. And they do not know that it's on Nemesis, guys. So we get a turn, we use the shield. I mean the immunity. <laughs> oh, poor guy. And finally, we have Diatna. Like we saw in clip number 2, Etna has to move before any of your CC, okay? So that she can strip in order for your CC to land anything. So what I do is that I give my Etna my best despair set. Despair will set. Make her faster than any of my CC unit. I mean, this in total is faster than plus 1 for true because of the speed base. Etna, because of the speed base is very easy to run, guys. So is see ho So if you have see ho then good for you. See how Etna, same thing. Just make her tanky. Don't even really care about attack, but please, guys, please have some crit rate on her. Because without the crit rate, then she cannot cycle turns. And an Etna that cannot cycle turns is not an Etna. <laughs> okay, it's not an Etna. Next, we have the Tiana. Tiana. The monster on my best swift set with the plus one and eight. Most of the time, this speed is enough to outspeed most people in the G1. And since my Tiana is on broken set, swift broken set, her stat has to suffer. But yeah, I mean, all Tiana has to do is move first, trip everyone, and her job's done, guys. We don't need her anymore, to be honest. And Fran! Where do I begin with this monster? This monster has to be a net 5 in my opinion. Even after the nerf. Even after the nerf, guys. People are still picking her first in the tournament. Cause that is how good she is. If you haven't built a Fran, guys, open your eyes. Build her now, okay? <laughs> my god, this thing. Will Violet. Make her the fastest in your team. Some people like to run their Fran on Swift. But I like to run my Fran on Pylon, cause that just makes her more cancer. Don't really care about attack, cause as the time goes by, she's gonna have enough attack anyway. She's gonna heal back to full, even with the third build attack buff. That's just how disgusting this unit is. What can I say guys? <laughs> this thing. Finally, we have the Jian, my only real CC unit. Wait a minute! 
<laughs> it's true though. I don't have any Gani, Hathor, Oki, so I have to use Jan. Satis my life, guys. <sighs> so what you wanna do is aim for this bit. Mm -hmm. Make her tanky, of course on wheel. And again, make her slower than any of your stripper, and you should be set. So that's it, guys. That's it. Now, John, what I like is that with her new leader skill, she can fuck up any CC unit. Like in my previous video against how to play, you guys saw how my John screw hit right with the resistant lead. <laughs> no, it's the end of the tour, guys. So that's it. I hope it was useful for you guys. And if you guys have any question for me, please ask me in the comment section, okay? Cause I'll be here all day to read the comment section. And it makes me happy guys, so yeah, do that! <laughs> See you later guys! Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and hit the bell button. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Discord, which you can find the link down below.